Bertemu kembali, Kementerian Perdagangan Antarabangsa dan Industri menyatakan komitmen untuk mendengar kesemua pandangan dan pendapat berkenaan rundingan perjanjian kerjasama Trans-Pacific TPPA. Rundingan ke-19 di, berkenaan di jadual di Brunei lewat pada 22 Ogos ini maaf dan untuk mendalami isu serta pendapat pemain dalam industri berkenaan TPPA kita bersama Anas Alam Faizdi pengasas bersama bantah TPPA Hi Anas thank you for joining us today thank you very much. Uh, first of all let's talk about the general sentiment right now because i think we've, we 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 know what the general sentiment was um, during the Kota Kinabalu uh, negotiation mm. um, so what's the general sentiment right now are people more open to the idea of TPPA or is there more awareness of it and more criticism of how the negotiations have been done? TPPA is quite alien, alien to the general public. But uh, recently, uh, since I would say uh, early this year, uh, Malaysian AIDS Council, the MCTC and various NGOs have been making noise and trying to create the public awareness uh, among public. And people have been starting to talk about TPPA, mm -hmm. uh, even uh, various uh, politicians and uh, in fact uh, certain ministries are questioning uh, the benefit of signing TPPA. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about Banta. Maybe you can tell us what Banta represents and who are these people under Banta. Uh, Banta uh, TPPA is at the moment the largest coalition uh, to go say uh, that we want to uh, reject TPPA. We are form of 52 NGOs mm -hmm. and seven coalition council. Mm -hmm. uh, one council would say about represent 50 NGOs. So mm -hmm. we're looking at a huge number of NGOs uh, forming under Banta mm -hmm. uh, from various uh, segments of the society. We have uh, students, uh, we have uh, <coughs> the health segment, we have uh, people from the business sector mm -hmm. and in fact we have labour from MTUC. Yeah. So it's a big coalition uh, that uh, is demanding to get the best out of the PPA. What, what, what are some of the issues that are still um, that they, they still want to put forth when it comes to the uh, negoti uh, the, the TPPA negotiation? Because I'm sure different segments or different NGOs has, has has different issues that they want to put forth and make sure that the right people get the message or the, 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 these, these issues. What are some of the issues that maybe you can share with us that um, Banta has received yeah. so far from its members? Uh, the, the thing with uh, TPPA is uh, discussed behind closed door and mm. it's, it's secret. So what we are using are uh, previous FTAs uh, as our guideline and yeah. some leak chapters. Yeah. So based from that, uh, these various NGOs came about and are questioning uh, the, because it's, TPP is larger than trade. Mm. It, I would say what, 20% of the content is trade, but other than that, it's purely regulatory mm -hmm. where they impose uh, regulation on capital control if we sign TPPA, we cannot do capital control and then there are regulations on government procurement practices mm -hmm. and then uh, on intellectual property, uh, talking about uh, patenting and uh, copyright laws and we have issues on telecommunications and export taxes and then uh, tobacco control and uh, various other issues mm -hmm. which Banta believe should be addressed properly to ensure that we get the best out of this negotiation. Mm -hmm. And and the Ministry of International Trade and Industry has uh, mentioned that uh, they are open to uh, discussions and open to um, uh, um, issues put forth by, by quarters uh, in, in Malaysia, whether it be uh, NGOs or uh, the industry players. Um, are you are you in, in touch with the, the, the government and in, in, in putting forth these, these uh, issues or yes. these criticisms? Yes, yes. What Banta did, we had a various forum mm -hmm. early this year and we have submitted a memorandum to the Ministry of uh, International Trade uh, in, in July okay. and uh, MITI have engaged with Banta. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, our first meeting on the 2nd of August uh, with uh, Rebecca San Maria, the mm -hmm. KSU of MITI. Uh, we've proposed to MITI our framework of engagement, how Banta would like to engage with MITI. Um, we are going to have another discussion and meeting uh, this Friday with MITI. Okay. And at this point of time, Banta is planning to also engage with uh, other relevant ministries uh, because there are 21 working groups yeah. uh, working for uh, TPPA negotiation and uh, we would also like to issue an open letter to the cabinet ministers as they are meeting on the 15th of August which is two days from today to discuss our stand 
for the coming Brunei round negotiation. Okay, and, and I'm sure you'll share with us the, 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 the content letter when you release it, right? Yes. Okay, yes. <coughs> Let, let's move on to, I, I think we can talk about <coughs> some of the issues um, regarding the TPPA. Because I, I think on your blog, uh, you've mentioned um, quite a few issues, but let's pick on the Petronas Vendor Development Program. And I think um, you've mentioned that how TPPA, with the implementation of TPPA, it will mar this Petronas Vendor Development Program mm -hmm. and it will hurt um, small players in the oil and gas industry. You can share with us. Um, I'm, I'm looking at not just small players. I mm -hmm. think the black, even the big players will be impacted. The government procurement, we are looking at 130 billion uh, worth of uh, economy. Mm -hmm. and that's about approximately 20% of Malaysia's economy as mm -hmm. a whole. And what will happen with TPPA is that uh, by signing it, we can no longer have any not to say special treatment, but anything that differentiate local players. So there's and no preference, no preferential no treatment to the local players. And the, the threshold that we're looking at for construction and other, uh, we're looking at 23 million ringgit. Mm -hmm. And for non-construction is 700,000. So with Petronas, Petronas now have a Petronas license, which you have to apply to get a license and then you can participate in bidding processes. Mm -hmm. And then we have a vendor development program which uh, is genuine genuine interest mm -hmm. for Petronas to develop local uh, vendor to become uh, world competitive. But with this, signing this and government procurement, we are no longer allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. And I believe it will severely impact our local players, big or small, even Sapura Kencana perhaps will be impacted when they have to bid with uh, international players like Samsung, Hyundai and the others. Okay. Uh, I, th I think we have 30 seconds before we, we, we wrap this conversation. Uh, maybe you can briefly tell us how should the, the, the Brunei round be done in terms of the transparency, in terms of engaging uh, NGOs and other uh, industry players? Well, the Brunei uh, round is very, very critical because the uh, US is trying to conclude this. In mm -hmm. fact, Michael Froman, the USTR himself, is coming down for this uh, negotiation round. Okay. And uh, I believe uh, if the Banta have stated our stand to suspend or pull out from TPPA unless four conditions are met, mm -hmm. which is a thorough CBA is conducted, uh, the content is publicly disclosed and debated, okay. and then we also ask for the text to be scrutinised in Parliament okay. or a Parliamentary Select Committee, and perhaps a popular referendum can be done to survey uh, the Malaysian population, if they are agreeable to TPPA, which will impact our future. Okay. Thank you very much, Anas Alam Faizli, uh, Pengasas Bersama Banta TPPA. We'll keep in touch okay. uh, as we go, as we come closer to the uh, 22nd of August, the Brunei round. Yes. And kita akan berhati-hati sekali lagi. Bye, sepas ini.